Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Chemistry practical theory. We got 17 to 18 pages to finish. Ready? Okay, let me run through with you the general idea of doing a planning question. Okay, ready? Okay, there are certain skills that will be tested. All right, so what are the skills that will be tested? Uh, number one, variables uh, need to be kept constant or you need to it to be changed. It must be stated clearly. State the variables clearly. Okay, what do you mean by state? Clearly. Vague terms such as amount of solid should not be used. In more calculation in school, when we calculate the mole, we usually write what? We write amount. School like to do that, right? In my class, I don't write amount. I always write mole. Okay, huh? Okay, theory, huh? I'm not talking about practical. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, when you do theory paper, theory paper, can I? Theory paper, when you calculate, you say, okay, uh, mole of uh, HCl, then we say uh, 2.5 mole. Uh, I think O level came out before. They ex ask you out of nowhere what do you mean by the word amount, I think. Is it in the TYS? Recently, I just saw it only. Is it O level or A levels? If you look at my A levels, they always use this word amount. But the TYS answer, I write more so that students are very clear. And people are laughing at me. Seems like this guy don't know chemistry. I was like, people are all laughing. I say, it's okay, let people laugh. My job is not whether people laugh at me. My job is students that get the book, won't make a mistake as much as possible, understand what's happening, and follow closely. I won't say, make, don't make mistake. I also make mistake. All right. That's not fair. All right. Okay. So amount uh, equals to more uh, by right. Can I? But in your practical paper, your planning especially, if whatever you want to say is more, please write more. Don't write amount. Understand what I'm saying? In theory paper, again, my 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 practice, my idea to my students is always write more. But some schools say it's amount. They are not wrong. All right, amount equal to more. Okay, but again, let's go back here. Huh? All right, uh, so we use very clear quantitative uh, terms. All right, such as mass or volume or more and whatnot or concentration. All right, we use the English term. Uh, apparatus and cal and chemicals. Yes, sorry. Uh, you don't have the first page. Uh, Ian, uh, supply. First page, one page missing. The rest are there. Okay, get from her. All right, state only the apparatus and chemicals that we use in the proposed plan. All right, don't give extra. Whatever you use, uh, give must use diagram. All diagram must be drawn clearly in pencil. And all apparatus and chemicals must be that drawn must be labeled clearly, like what I've been doing last two days. If mistakes are done, do not erase complete. Uh, do erase completely. I mean, never redraw the diagram. Uh, crossing of some incorrect parts are not acceptable. Cannot draw, draw, draw. Oh, cancel, cancel, cancel. That's why it must be in pencil. Done. Procedure. Number the steps clearly. Indicate mass of sample clearly using reasonable amount. Now the question is always what is reasonable about. And to its appropriate accuracy, for example, measure 2.0 gram of solid using the electronic mass balance or measure 41.5 cm3 of liquid using the measuring cylinder. Make sense? So if you use a burette, it will be to two decimal place, so on and so forth. If you use a pipette to one decimal place. Okay, suitable solid to be used we tend to use about 1 to 5 gram. So in case you don't have a value and you need to write, they say you need to write, you cannot, hey, you cannot write, all right, add a certain amount. Dang. You cannot write some. Dang. You need to code the value. Have okay? If your teacher say a different value, use your teacher's value. Anyone has a different value? Mass, they say you so much. Come, we have a lot of online on-site students. Total, we have, I think, about 60, 65. Anyone has something to say? It's okay because your teacher maybe say something different. Don't have, uh, don't have one to five. Because you're supposed to code. So at least you got value in your head. Uh, why value too small no good? Depending on the experiment. Uh. Too small, maybe you cannot see any reaction, right? Too small, the reaction take too long. You can see that. Uh. So it must be appropriate amount. Okay? Suitable volume to be used usually is 20 to 50 cm3. Again, depending on the apparatus you use. It's okay? 20 to 50 cm3. Uh, state how major obtain using suitable apparatus. So here we go. Next. So these are general guidelines. Uh, drawing of table to record observation and measurement, just like how you do your experimental uh, question. Indicate clearly the heading and units in the table. 
Conclusion, reflect how the results collected in the table are used to answer the aim. Now, you won't be tested on all six skills usually. It's only the four to six marks, right? Only two, three, two to three out of the following six skills will be generally tested. Won't be all six, lah, usually, okay? Now, let's take a look at some example. 